It was stated by George Eliot, You must not be ashamed of your work and think it would be more honorable to you to be doing something else. You must have a pride in your own work and in learning to do it well. There was a time when I wanted to give up my work. I had been a housewife for so long. I had been raising my sons at home. And it got to the point where I thought, maybe I'm not me anymore. Who is this person that just cleans all day, every day, takes care of the kids, teaches them at home? I belittled myself because others belittled what I did. When I decided to put my kids into public school instead of homeschooling them, when I decided maybe I wasn't as independent as I had hoped, when I decided I needed to get a real job because my job wasn't considered a real job because I wasn't being paid to do it. That's when I realized I was always myself and what I had been doing was perfectly beautiful. I realized that I was valued and that I gave value. What I do takes dedication, hard work, effort, patience. It often takes humility as you're constantly putting others before yourself. And it's not always easy to do that. I don't think it's supposed to be. But I love doing it. I love seeing the joy on my family's faces when I serve them food. I love knowing that even though they have a clean bathroom to use and may not appreciate it that much, I still worked hard because of my love for them as I do it over and over and over again. I start to find joy in doing it. Cleaning alone has become a de-stressor for me. It makes me feel at ease. It's something I don't have to rush and somehow I feel so at peace when I do it. I know a lot of people don't understand what that's like, and for a while, I didn't even think I did. It took me getting a full-time job while still doing everything that I did at home, and my husband and kids to say, I miss having you around as often as you used to be. When I realized how much more worn out I was, and when I saw the needs of my family before me, I realized that I went a little too far. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I had already been doing what was best for me and my family. I valued slow living so much more. With the hustle bustle attitude that our culture teaches, to constantly be on the run and on the go doing this and that, I realize that sometimes you have to just let go of things and relax. You have to be present. My husband said we were like two ships passing and we didn't see each other enough. And he missed having me with him so often. I told myself lies making it seem like, oh, he just missed me cleaning up after him more and cooking for him constantly. But I was still doing that too. I lied to myself. I thought maybe I'd be better on my own. Maybe my family didn't really need me. But what I needed most was them. What I loved most was them. Doing the work that I did at home for them was just a big part of that. And it made me happy. And it makes me happy. And I know my family feels a lot of joy having me around and present more for them again. And as we have a new one entering our family soon, I know I'm going to keep learning new lessons and sharing new lessons with my family. And the love and the bond that we have will just keep growing. Charles Dickens said, A day wasted on others is not wasted on oneself. I'm glad that every moment is wonderful. Thank you.